Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you could take a mobile device like an iPhone and an iPad and make it into a wireless keyboard or a mouse for your Mac computer. So basically, um, you will need to go to a website, which I'll put all of these in the comments, called this one here, www.benzel.com. And when you get there, uh, you should be able to see an application that looks like this one, which is the Wi-Fi sender. But let's go to the website and take a look. That's the one you have to download from the iTunes store on your phone. Okay? And this is the one, the website that you would go to to download the application for your Mac. You would simply click the download button. You'd go to this one for the Apple. Once it downloads, it would go into your downloads folder, as you could see here. You click on it. You go to the Downloads folder, you double-click on the DMG folder that's in your Downloads folder, and you'll see this pop open. Drag this into your Applications folder, drop it, and then open up your Applications folder. Look for Wi-Fi Send and Server. Double-click on it to open it. And once you open it, you really won't see anything happening on your screen. I'll show you here. Here's an alias of it. Um, nothing really happens, but if you go over here to the top bar, you will see there is the application, and that's what it looks like. So as long as it's running, that's all you have to do. The next step is to go to your phone and to go to that particular um, application, and I'll send you the link in it. Download this app, which it's called Mouse, but it's definitely from the Benzel uh, company, so you can do a search for Benzel if you want to make it easier. But I will put the link in the comments area. So once you have the application running on your phone and on your Mac, and it's actually opened and running on your Mac, you now go into the iPhone one, click on it. You'll get to a window like this. It'll search for anything on the same Wi-Fi network, and it saw my MacBook, and it automatically connected, and that's all there is to it. Here now I have a keyboard that I can use, and if you want to see if this is actually working, I'll click in this area over here, and you can see that I'm controlling it, and I'm going to do a space, and I'm going to type hello. So you can see it actually works beautifully. Besides having the ability to do text, it also can show your entire doc, and then you can kind of click on these to open and close them, which is pretty cool. You can also have these arrow keys for a presentation. You can also have a power on and power off uh, screen on, screen off button, but those are advanced features and they do cost a few dollars more as an in-app purchase. But the, basically the application is free, so you, getting it to basically act as a mouse and keyboard is free. If you want to have some other options like volume control, that comes with the added feature. Now I actually use this to open up iTunes, listen to a m music on iTunes, and when I want to put iTunes on mute, um, I can do that uh, using the features that are here, which are pretty cool. So there are some additional features that you can use uh, in order to play music and stop it. So these are all of the capabilities you can see. Uh, you've got all the different um, little icons over here that do different items. This is uh, for doing, uh, you know, basically calculations. And again, the dock. It works seamlessly, and you saw that I basically set all this up in under a minute. So I highly recommend this app. I like it. It worked right away for me. I'm working it in Yosemite, the newest version of the iOS. So I can't guarantee it will work on every single app. You might want to read uh, the small print to see what it actually works with and whether it will be adaptable to your system. But I can tell you it works in the newest version of Yosemite and the newest version of the iOS. So good luck trying this out. If you have a laptop or a Mac hooked up to your HDMI, this works out great to surf the red web either from your couch or your bed uh, while your Mac is hooked up across the room. So use it and have some fun. And if you like the video, like the video. And if you like my tutorials, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for listening.